थांग का बौद्ध धर्मसित संबंधित चित्रकला मात्र न भएर यो बहुमूल्य कलाकारिता पनि हो जसमध्ये कतिपय थांग का सुनको धूलो प्रयोग गरेर बनाइन्छ यसै कारण यो चित्रकला बहुमूल्य बन्ने गर्छ थांग का चित्रकला दार्जिलिङ पहाडमा 17 औं शताब्दीतिर नै भित्रिएको हो तर हाल यहाँ यस चित्रकलामा लागि पर्नेहरू नगण्य बनिसकेका छन् जसमध्ये एक हुन् पूर्व बैंक कर्मचारी टासी डी छिरिङ जो यस क्षेत्रमा एकमात्र महिला थांका बनाउने चित्रकार हुन् उनले यस क्षेत्रमा यस चित्रकलामाथि मानिसहरूलाई सचेत बनाउने कार्य पनि गरिरहेकी छन् उनले प्रशिक्षण प्राप्त गरेपछि वर्ष 2006 देखि यस कार्यलाई अघि बढाइरहेकी छन् यस बारे उनी भन्छिन् थांका धार्मिक चित्रकलासँग एउटा लेख्ने कला पनि हो मेरो जर्नी चाहिँ स्टार्टेड इन एक्ज्याक्टली 2006 आई वाज अलरेडी इनटु आर्ट बट आई थॉट दैट यू नो अब हाम्रो यो बुद्धिस्ट आर्ट एभ्रीवन थॉट दैट आई शुड आल्सो ट्राई दिस भनेर एन्ड आई वाज आल्सो रियली इन्ट्रेस्टेड एन्ड दैट्स हाउ माइ जर्नी बिगन 2006 रङ्गबुल त्यो बाटोको मुनि गुम्बा छ नि त्यहाँ नि रहेछ सिक्नु भएको मेरो टिचर चाहिँ निमा छिरिङ ही इज अल्सो अ भेरी ही इज अल्सो अ भेरी गुड थांका राइटर एन्ड ही इज एक्चुअली फ्रम द लिनेज अफ त्यो लामा चुन्डुला भन्ने थियो एउटा ही इज अ भेरी फेमस थांका राइटर अफ कोर्स अहिले त वेस्टमा छ उहाको चेला हुनुहुन्छ अनि म चाहिँ उहाँको अब टिचर स्टुडेन्ट हो हजुर सो त्यही त नाइन्टिन सेभेन्टी टूमा उनीहरूले एउटा स्कुल इस्टाब्लिस गरेको थियो बट त्यति बेला पुरा फरेनर्सहरू पनि आउँथ्यो अरे इट वाज त्यति बेला चाहिँ कसरी आउँथ्यो भन्दा इट वाज त्यो गाइड बुकमा चाहिँ छापिएको थियो त्यसको सो दे ह्याड अ भेरी आई मिन वेस्टर्नर्सहरू पुरा आएर त्यहाँ सिक्दाखेरि चाहिँ त्यसरी नै उहाँ लामा छिन्डुलालाई पनि उता चाहिँ लानुभएको अनि but of course now it's not there no longer there it's it's closed ekdamai kamti bhanu personally i think i'm the only female i don't know there could be more but of uh, how many people that i've come across uh, i know my sir and the mero uh, and i've heard of one more person okay uh, so that's quite few actually Thanka, Thanka, so what is it exactly? Yeah. Ha, so Thanka uh, means something that unfolds, you know, or unfolds. So it is basically a scroll painting. And it is not even a, a painting. We we say that it's a, a Thanka writing because Liknu Vansa, paint Garnu Bandhanao. And it's a very religious uh, art form. And we have a very, uh, a very, uh, distinct style of iconometric uh, system which we have to follow it's not something that's done freehand and all that so you ha- it's a long process this go to shading and uh, so it's this look like art form no? uh-huh. so uh, like i said it's a religious art form and um, it's all uh, deities around jenny so the deities so you have basically depiction of the serene deities then you have semi wrathful deities and then you have the wrathful deities then you also have didactic uh, uh, depictions which is like the uh, the wheel of uh, suffering or the wheel of life uh, so those are the art forms and for a practitioner of vajrayana uh, thanka is a very powerful tool for a uh, uh, for attainment of enlightenment so uh, and once you are well versed with the vajrayana form of uh, buddhism then you know looking at thankas it becomes a richer experience no we uh, we uh, it's a very rigid art form it's something that you have to really learn so uh, like uh, we ensure that you have to follow a graphical representation of so it's also known as iconometrics so there is a whole lot of iconometric uh, system that you have to learn 
and uh, the deity can only be of that nature because if you say uh, white tara a uh, white tara is white and she has basically uh, you know um, um, she has eyes on her forehead hands and legs and you can't depict a white tara without that to this so it's it's all uh, you know proper thing unle thanka ko shuruaat भगवान बुद्ध का दुईवटा कथासित संबंधित रहे को पनी बताए गए भगवान बुद्ध को चित्र बनाऊदा तेस निस्कने तीव्र उज्यो प्रकाश को कारण चित्रकार हरुले भगवान बुद्ध को चित्र बनाऊन सकतेन थिए भगवान बुद्ध को चित्र होला को पानीमा देखिए को प्रतिबिंब हेरेर बनाइए को कथा पनि छ यसैले उनको चित्रबाट निस्कने प्रकाशलाई एउटा लुगामा स्थानान्तर गरेपछि मात्रै चित्रकारहरूले भगवान बुद्धको चित्र बनाउन सक्थे भन्ने उनको कथन छ बिगिनिङ अफ थाङ्का विच इज हिस्टोरिकल हिस्टोरिकली रिकर्डेड से देयर आर टु मेजर इभेन्ट्स दैट ह्यापेन वन इज होइत शर्मा एन्ड थुपाचुलेनमा यो से इट बेज ब्याक टु द टाइम अफ बुद्ध हिमसेल्फ सो दिस इज रिकर्डेड इट हैज बीन सेड दैट Um, the king of uh, Magda wanted to uh, give a gift to um, uh, the king of uh, Sri Lanka once and was uh, the artist was basically and uh, they thought that the best gift to give was the gift of the uh, painting of the uh, enlightened one but uh, the artist was just unable to draw him because uh, I, um, i mean it is said that his body radiated light and it was so brilliant that he really could not even look at him and he, uh, so what uh, the holy one said kola ko ke uisma goera chai then he said that draw from the reflection on the tyo gard the hit so then that became to pachulena or literally image of the sage taken from the water's reflection and he or ko chai hoit sharma bancha वहीं जर्मा बनने चाहिए प्रिंसेस ऑफ सिंगाला बनने और अ लेडी शी वाज प्रिंसेस एंड शी वांटेड टू बेसिकली यू नो कमिशन द द तथागताज इमेज अने अगेन यू नो वहां को जो जो चाहिए जीव बने चाहिए लाइट रेडिएट बाग होते हैं क्यों चाहिए क्लॉथ में ट्रांसफर कर रहे चाहिए सो त्यसरी चाहिँ उहाँको नक्सा बनाए अरे सो द इफ यू एक्चुअली लुक एट इट हिस्टोरिकली एज इट हेज बिन टोल्ड एन्ड रिकर्डेड सो द इमेज अफ ड्रइंग द तथागताज इमेज अन क्लथ डेट्स ब्याक टु द तथागता इम्स उनले दार्जिलिङको महाकाल मन्दिर परिसरबाट गिङमा सारिएको गुम्बाबाट नै दार्जिलिङमा पनि थाङ्का बनाउने काम सुरु भएको हुन सक्ने बताएकी छन् त्यस समय थाङ्का चित्रकला र धर्म एक अर्का माझ सम्बन्धित थिए यसैले दार्जिलिङमा कैयौँ बौद्ध धर्मगुरुहरूद्वारा थाङ्काको प्रचलनलाई अझै अघि बढाउने कार्य भएको उनको मत छ Uh, i think uh, in fact this is uh, well recorded and that's how i'm able to of course say that uh, it dates back to 1700s uh, uh colonel man wearing bane out a british officer there uh, from from the east india company and wale le chai usko journal ma chai wale le chai khas ma lecture ko uyo bhasha ko bare ma chai lekh ta khiri chai there is a mention of uh, a present day mahakal uh, मंदिर छर से एटा मोनेस्ट्री थी अभी तो मोनेस्ट्री चाहकोर्स लेटर ऑन दे शिफ्टेड द ब्रिटिशर्स शिफ्टेड टू गिंग विच इज द ओल्डेस्ट मोनेस्ट्री इन दाजीलिंग बिकज दे फाउंड इट टू बी वेरी नॉइजी हो हम पूजा अब तस्त सो विथ द एस्टाब्लिशमेंट अफ अ फर्स्ट मोनेस्ट्री अफकोर्स आर्ट वुड हेव एक्जिस्ट बिकज आर्ट एंड रिलिजन आर इंटर रिनेटेड एंड they they have always coexisted so without religion they, they cannot be this thanga ah, art people like this near the thanga nikhe agadi ha so the hilik scenario ke chhata ha so 
Darjeeling used to be a very very uh, vibrant center uh, and there are many factors of that for that uh, primarily because uh, you know Darjeeling was once a very big center uh, of all the uh, uh, lineage head Buddhism and this also happened um, of course many uh, Buddhists they came uh, you know like uh, prior to the uh, cultural revolution you know, no? so there were a lot of refugee communities and all and Darjeeling then became almost uh, all the lineage heads Chatta, Junji, Vajrayana Buddhism like the Nyingma, Sakyas, Geluks, Kagyubs Unarko era Sita here, Darjeeling and uh, of course wherever there is this uh, our monastic uh, centers you know, uh, because as a buddhist we are encouraged to you know um, make thangkas make it as offerings and all that so it was that's how it was a very vibrant center so this is one of the factors you know. and the, what happened was after our 1980s and all almost all the lineage heads they went somewhere else they uh, went to the west, some went uh, south to India and all that. So there was a mass exodus. So even now we do have monasteries and all, but you know that thing has... And then another factor is you have a lot of uh, art that comes from Nepal, you know, it's almost like factory made. If you look at it, of course it looks really beautiful, you think that there's a lot of work and all, but it's almost like factory made and that is true also. Nepal has got a very uh, uh, well developed system of producing thangka, mass producing. Barso agi dekhi, bivinna prakar ka thangka ko vikas huna thale pachi, yesko prabhau bivinna isthan ma pani paana thale ko ho. Baudha Raja Asoka ko saasan kaal ma bivinna isthan ma baudha dharma prachar prasar garna maani sarulai pathaunda ne, vises Bharat ra Nepal ka bivinna isthan haru ma pani थांका को प्रभाव बढ़े को होना सकने सीरिंग को मत सा नेपाल मा बौद्ध धर्म माने नेवार होले पौवा चित्रकला को रूप मा थांका को विकास गर्न थाले भने कश्मीर मा और कई प्रकार को थांका बनाए को पनी उनको मत सा Obviously I am not an expert in all this field uh, the, so I have no idea as to how but see this is how uh, the uh, King Ashoka uh, you know, you are aware of how uh, he became one of the first Buddhist uh, king and under his reign, um, India, the, then the kingdom of India, which actually covers the whole of, uh, you know, right up to Afghanistan, present day Afghanistan, up to uh, almost uh, Eastern Europe, everything was under, uh, it was basically a Buddhist nation. And uh, so I am presuming, assuming that, uh, and um, Ashoka is, uh, I mean, it is a recorded fact that he used to send emissaries, you know, to spread uh, uh, the religion, Buddhist religion, Buddhist texts, and to have Buddhist artworks. So I'm assuming that that's how it could have gone to uh, Nepal, because uh, the religion, uh, uh, Nepal has also got a very big Buddhist community. The Newari community, I think, are all Buddhist. So, and like I said, religion and art is all interrelated, entwined, you know, so. So, what yes, yes, of course, so, uh, Unarko, they have uh, brought up their own system, which, uh, of course, they now call it Pauba art. So, but the uh, the representation of the date is the same, like uh, you have uh, Chana Donje, which is a very famous painting done by uh, Nepalese artist, uh, Unarko Aile representations are entirely different. Unarko standing for mounts, uh, the stones. Uh, whereas, uh, Abo, if we are following the, the Vajrayana uh, way, uh, we have to do it according to the iconometric system. And uh, again, like uh, Kashmir itself was also a very big Buddhist center. And, uh, Vajrayana also had, uh, you know, a mixture of Shaivism, which is the worship of Shiva, and the uh, the deities, uh, the the goddesses. Only Unarkut, uh, like Kashmir, was a center of Shaivism. So they had a, again a di distinct uh, art form, 
so everywhere it went it became you know they made it their own but uh, but the fact is that uh, it is buddhist art so there is no reason why you can uh, you know paint the same deity in a different way so, you, the, so that is the artistic freedom that every artist has you, you can't have you know the same kind of painting all the time because painting is something that is very creative so everyone tries to give their own stamp their own uniqueness uh, and try to make art their own chiringle tibbat ma karma gadari ani menri thangka dui prakar ka pranali ma tayar hune gareko pani jankari garayeki chan jasmadhe unle menri thangka lai nai adhik manyata didai aayeko batayeki chan yadapi yasma matre uni purna ruple simit bhane na raheko pani batayeki chan uh, uh two uh, primarily two uh, system was developed in uh, in tibet one was the karma gadi and one was the menri so uh, karma gadi is more uh, you know they have palette colors and lot of chinese influence and uh, his holiness uh, the karmapa was uh, it is said that uh, he re- primarily really developed this karma gadi style. then there is the menri style uh, which is more vibrant i would say a uh, lot of reds blues you know bright colors and a lot of filigree work like the gold you know the intricate gold on the uh, the cloth and things like that so i basically follow the menri style because I, my teacher was also uh, following that style but i try to incorporate both you know i like don't like to restrict it and um, to one particular style because even me as an artist i want to make the artwork my own so this leg or the kiri is a variation haru hundai janchha unlai euta thangka tayar garna 25 dekhi 40 din samma lagcha jasmadhe katipay thangka ma unle sun ko pani prayog garne gareki chhan unle banayeka thangka haru विदेश का कैयों स्थान में पुगिस तरपनी उनके व्यावसायिक रूप में थांका को व्यापार नगर को तर थांका बारे मानस में जागरूकता लियाने प्रयास उनके जारी राखे उनके थांका को मूल्य चालीस हजार रुपया देखि तीन लाख रुपयासम पुग्ने जानकारी कराए क बनारसी सिल्क को बोर्ड लगाए बनाइ थांका में प्रयोग बनारसी सिल्क को मूल्य ना पांच हजार देखि बीस हजार रुपया समग्ने by uh, 20 by 30 ko to it will go uh, you know more than a month uh, usually it's 11 by uh, uh, 11 14 inches by uh, 12 inches 10 inches this to area it is but of course a smaller size like 11 by 10 you know this the alikiti aje chitu hinu sakcha maybe 20 days tapaile abo agi gold then gold work ha ji so tapaile ng garnu bhasa हज गे कि बट इट्स अ गोल्ड नाउ यू नो द वैल्यू हज रियली गन अप एंड देन गोल्ड लगाए उन्हें बितीक द आर्ट द वैल्यू अफ दैट आर्ट रियली गोज अप एंड पीपल आर नट विलिंग टू पे सो मच सो मोस्ट अफ द टाइम यू नो गोल्ड इज नट यूज अनलेस द पर्सन आस्किंग स्पेसिफिकली आस फर इट थका मैं तब लाइक यूए लाइक इट्स स्पेशली कमीशन आर्ट एंड यूए में कस्तु फिर अचान भादा खेल लाइक देर वॉज दिस पर्सन हु अब इंडियन पर्सन पंजाबी पर्सन बेसिकली अभी बेसिकली रियली लाइक मै आर्ट वर्क एंड ऑल दैट अहाँ को ट्विन्स भाग छोरी दुईटा छोरी सो ही वॉन्टेड एन आर्ट वर्क टू बेसिकली कमोमोरेट यू नो हिज द बर्थ अफ हिज ट्विन्स ट्विन डॉटर्स 
वो दैट आई थॉट वो सच थे एंड ही हैड नेम दैम सरस्वती एंड दुर्गा एंड ही वॉन्ट टू नो स्पेसिफिकली इफ दे वर यू नो अ बुद्धिस्ट रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ दीज टू डेटीज विच वी हैव सो आई वॉज वेरी हैप्पी विद दैट यू नो मोर इम्पोर्टेन्टली बिकज इट वॉज फर सच कति राम पर्पज को लगी यू नो लाइक नाउ डेज अब there's so much a focus on girl child and mm-hmm. things like that and here there was a father who wanted to celebrate that mm-hmm. uh, you know birth of his two daughters so similarly i feel over here abo you know by the commentary this to your value dicks oh you know so there is total lack of awareness over here okay to the point that bita tira thanka jhundeko cha bhane no one will even bother to go and have a look at it and think like oh what what is it so that i find a very sad affair and i'm hoping that this there is a, you know an awareness mm-hmm. and uh, of course everything needs to come together to make that awareness ne and i want to just basically uh, ensure that uh, there is this awareness of thanka art ke that, that means locally vibhuti jaanna thanka uh matlab see i'm not uh, like uh, i don't know uh, but i'm not those really uh trying to you know just sell my artwork mm-hmm. you know i'm more into uh, uh, creating awareness and of course in that process yes i have had few uh, uh people who are interested in buying my art and all that they like i'm not a mass manufacturer and i don't want mm-hmm. it to be uh, that way also you know uh it's and probably for some i won't even uh, uh, like uh, uh, i won't even uh, say yes if i'd wanted to uh, paint for them you know yeah so uh, see um thanka is also something where uh, we uh, it is kasna se ya bo is banse ki we should not do it very commercially also mm-hmm. huh? because obviously you know um, uh, bad karma mm-hmm. or whatever but uh, thankas are supposed to be done in a way that you make it as an offering so i'm very proud of the fact that i have made many offerings and mm. that is all free you mm. know so to certain people yes if uh, they are really you know you can make out uh, how a person uh, with what purpose they want the artwork mm. so for some i do it absolutely free also and uh, for some i charge a very minimal thing but if it is like a commercial house like biswa bangla and all mm. they have what Uh, mm-hmm. quite a bit of my paintings and all then i try to charge them uh, reasonable mm-hmm. for that work mm-hmm. and for that size it's the most reasonable thing that they could find kena van the here i have seen with a they go for you know about 1 lakh 40000 2 lakhs 3 lakhs some of them they have to like so and i think they would be also selling it at that range only but yeah, i do know that nyai hamro evra cha वहाँ को आर्ट वर्क बिगिन्स विथ फोर्टी थाउजेंड फोर्टी फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड गोज अप टू वन लैक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड टू लैक्स हेरी हेरी होट अमाउंट अफ डिटेल वर्क यू नो मल्टी डेटिज सिंगल डेटिज I would like to think I've done quite a bit of work. Um so one of the thing was like uh, uh creating this uh Junjai uh, last year Ramro Utkash Bangla ma bhayo. So first time you know this artwork has become part of the national vocational skill development okay which comes under I think the World Trade Center also. So era ki bhayo bhanda at least era thanka ko era curriculum set by oh so i think that is also a very big achievement now uh, anywhere in india if anyone is uh, trying to do vocational training and all they can easily uh, do this uh, artwork so, so which i f- feel is such a uh, important thing and i uh, i've also tried to put in uh, a report for uh, filing of uh, gi tagging you know gi means uh, uh, geographical indication but training of new government and 
ओके सो ते लास्ट इयर से ते फ्रॉम द डीएम्स ऑफिस उत्कर्ष बांग्ला को ट्रेनिंग वोकेशनल ट्रेनिंग बाकी थी एंड दिस वाज अ फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड इन अब इंडिया ने बनुंग ना वेस्ट बंगाल में तो फर्स्ट टाइम अने इट वाज फॉर थर्टी आर्टिजन्स एंड इट हैपेन हियर इन गुम ओन and um, but the interesting part of this uh, and the most important part that i thought was needed was to make them entrepreneur artisans because just providing them skill is not sufficient uh they like the kosidi i na i like modern uh, our age especially with uh, e-commerce and things like that how they can market their skills uh, so this to che bhako thyo ani 3 months training program too uh, my aim and for uh, hope is that uh, of course awareness of thanka art and i feel in darjeeling itself probably we could establish a small cottage scale uh, industry the you are already training k institute you are training for k future future has so we are thinking that uh, i mean uh, recently i am in talks with uh, our local uh, departments and hopefully something might happen and the you say 8 uh, months co training and in this uh, we are planning to give a whole holistic uh, you know uh, training of uh, in everything got to do with the buddhist art form uh, so whereby you learn um, uh, the art form of thanka then even the border rooms and so anyone if uh, if uh, a person is empowered with these skills they can easily because uh, aile the border silaunu nai manche nai paundana and so because there is so less people who are actually doing that craft the demand is unar uh, ko pricing is very high it becomes the border banako ra how is it made kati how much can a person earn this त्यो त एउटा बर्डर सिलाको नै अब इट बिगिन्स फ्रम द रेन्ज अफ फाइभ टू सिक्स थाउजन्ड गोज अप टू फोर्टिन ट्वेन्टी थाउजन्ड आउँछ डिपेन्डिङ अन द हजुर डिपेन्डिङ अन द टाइप अफ क्लथ यु आर युजिङ कस्तो प्रकारको स्किल यु नो एभ्रिथिङ हेज गट अ स्किल सेट सो त्यो कस्तो खालको स्किलहरू तपाईँले चलाउनुहुन्छ सामान कस्तो चलाउनुहुन्छ सो सो द्याट इज सेल्फ वुड यु नो बी सफिसियन्ट फर अ पर्सन टु मेक अ लाइभलिहुड नो युजली त्यो सिल्क चलाउँछ कि ब्रोकेड भन्छ सो यु ह्याभ दिस बनारसी सिल्क विच इज सपोज टु बी द मोस्ट एक्सपेन्सिभ वन अन्त त्यसको चाहिँ युजली रेड एन्ड ग्रिन येल्लोहरू मात्रै हुन्छ गोल्ड गोल्डलाई चाहिँ इट्स पाउडर हुन्छ कि एन्ड द्याट इज इभन मोर एक्सपेन्सिभ देन द ट्वेन्टी फोर क्यारेट गोल्ड and the, it's very fine powder this means you have to use uh, glue usually it's animal glue oh they like to boil chapra ones and they like boil garer you have to mix it the texture has just got to be right then but they like to paint karnu parcha and the paint gari sakera chai there is a special pehla the jade ko pen hunthyo tyo pen le chai tesmathi gari bhane chai tyo ke sun talkinchu ni so you can make out Uh, the uh, the designs the patterns on that painting thanka kala la agi badaune chhiring le kayau rajya ani rashtriya star ka puraskar haru pani hath pari sakeki chan state award and state awardee uh, and also national awardee merit um, and uh, prior to that uh, um, ue therapy uh, i mean international award therapy paako ho so this so which is this is all, uh, 2019 2019 i became the state award winner uh, uh, through dic and uh, 2019 kai uh, 20 banu na but the submission date was for 2018 this was a national merit 